word, I've officially survived my first day back after my vacation. Good morning, YouTube. I did not go to sleep until 2.30 in the morning, and I got up at 6.45. Jalen! Oh my god, it's, it's a, a key! Oh, there's a key, so lift it up and check it. Good morning, today is Wednesday, May the 3rd, and today is the first day back from my trip. I was not at school on Monday or Tuesday, so it's gonna be a little bit of a shorter vlog this week, but I'm sure you guys understand. I will say I'm a little on the tired side. However, I kind of expect that because I'm still jet lagged. I think after this weekend, I will feel much better. And I sent out a message last night on Class Dojo just telling the parents that I was back and I was gonna be back at school tomorrow. And I got so many messages saying how much their kid missed me and how happy they are that I'm back. So I am very excited to go see my class. Good news is, Today is a double special day and that's like the perfect way to kind of ease myself back into things. Bad news is I have a PLC meeting this morning and thankfully one of my team teachers emailed me last night because I would not have remembered at all. It's currently about seven o'clock and I'm leaving early because I know I have to get to my classroom and see what state it was left in and clean up a little bit after the subs and hopefully I can get that done before the PLC meeting at 745. But for now, I'm gonna go get coffee because I've not had Dunkin' Donuts in almost two weeks and I miss it very, very much. Can I help you? Hi, can I get a medium iced coffee with the French vanilla swirl and cream, please? Medium iced French vanilla swirl and cream, anything else? Nope, that will be it. 253, thank, thank you. Thank you. Open eye, through the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing. So overall, I have to say I'm actually somewhat impressed of the state that my desk was left in. It looks like the substitutes just put all the stuff back in the containers, which is what I was hoping would happen. I don't have too many papers in my classwork bin. I will clean that out later. It's not a big deal for right now. So I've got notes, I guess, that I've got to read over, and I did have some kids leave me cards, which was really sweet, and they all left me messages on the board, which I really appreciate. That's really nice to come back to. Um, and I just have some, like, manipulatives. I guess Band-Aids were delivered, which actually I'm really happy about. So I've just got a couple of small things to put away on my desk. Now, I will say... Back here, I have no idea why my kids have books out. Like, come on guys, we know better. Um, the back table is not too, too bad. I have no idea why this poster is down, but I'm happy to see that the back counter looks pretty good. I'm not really sure what these papers are, but overall my iPads are in the right spot. Nothing looks broken or missing, so that is good news. So I have to go to my PLC meeting in about 10 minutes. I don't have time to go through these boxes right now, but it's okay. I will go through them later. This is just a pile of papers that I need to kind of go through, but the rest of my desk is pretty clean, which I'm happy about. And look at this one note from one of my sweet babies. It says, best teacher ever. And it says, I missed you. I almost couldn't go without you. And that shows you are one of the best teachers ever. Miss Frey, can you never leave me for that long again? So quickly before I go to my meeting, I did want to show you guys what I'm gonna do with my students first thing this morning. Normally I teach math first thing, but I am not gonna do that today because coming back after having a sub for seven days, I just cannot jump back into math like that. So I'm gonna give each of my students a green index card and then, I know it's not really red, but a red index card, it's kind of pink, it's okay. So they are gonna write one good thing that happened while I was gone on the green one and then one not so good thing that happened on the red one. And we're gonna use that to kind of lead our discussion about what happened when I was gone. So I do want to go through the good things that happened because I think it's important to highlight those and talk about them and tell my students how proud I am for those good things. But I also want to know what happened while I was gone that was not so good. Not to get my students in trouble. I'm not going to punish them for what happened while I was gone because I don't know the full story and I can't go exactly by what the sub says because my sub just doesn't know my students the way I do. But I do think it's important to use that to kind of lead our discussion about 
what we need to work on this week to get better. So after reading through all of these as a class, we're then going to use it to kind of set a goal for ourselves for this week, whether it's not talking, whether it's being kinder to our friends, but we're gonna set some kind of goal to focus on for the week. And then I'm gonna show my students my trip pictures and then we'll have special and then we'll kind of pick up with a more normal afternoon. All right, it is now my morning special and the morning has been interesting. Behavior has not been bad. They've been talkative, but like, I'm not really worried about that. I've been gone, so they're excited that I'm back and they're talking about it and it's fine. Other than that, we basically spent the whole morning just catching up on what happened while I was gone. So I had them write the good thing and the bad thing on the two index cards, brought them to the carpet, showed them pictures from my trip, let them ask questions, got that out of the way. And then we basically sat down and had just a discussion as a class, like what went well, what didn't go well. And what I'm going to do when they come back from special is we are going to set one goal for this week, one thing that we want to work on, which I'm thinking is probably going to be talking because that's been like a big issue for them. And I know it was a big issue while I was gone. So we're going to really focus on that for this week and then next week we're going to set another goal and I just think it will be easier to kind of manage behavior if we set one goal each week and one thing to kind of work on I don't know we'll see if it works but I have a lot to get done between today and tomorrow I obviously need to get my room all cleaned up I also have to get progress reports done because they are due tomorrow at noon I need to get grading done before I can do progress reports and I just have a lot to catch up on. So I'm gonna just try to get as much done during this time as possible, but I'm definitely gonna have to stay late today. So the first thing I'm gonna do during this time is clean up this back table because I think I will feel much better once my room is neat and orderly again. So I'm gonna start with this, maybe clean up that area a little bit too, and then I will go back and worry about my desk. So coming back from special, it was a little bit rough because I had a couple of friends who were being horrible in art. Like I even looked through the door and they were being horrible. But I will say that it is a result of the art teacher's like classroom environment, I guess is the best way to put it. Like they act up in art because they're able to get away with it. Like it's just a whole issue. But thankfully those couple friends, I talked to them during recess. They did owe some time. I talked to them. I think I have it all under control and they should be better this afternoon. Fingers crossed. I'm a little bit stressed out just because I have so much like that I have to get done and it's like starting to get to me and I'm trying to just you know put it aside and say it's okay it will get done when it gets done I will make it all work um I'm trying to be a lot more positive with my class and so far I do think it's helping a lot um obviously because I have a vacation I was able to like relax and I'm not as like stressed out as I was beforehand so I'm able to stay a lot more calm with them and I think it is helping and so fingers crossed we can stay that way for the rest of the day but we are not getting a whole lot accomplished today I gave my students extra recess because we have lunch at a different time today because of park testing and I knew that they needed it like they missed a lot of recess because of the substitutes and they needed this time plus it was beautiful outside today so we have not really done anything so far today but it's okay I know that this is just what we need plus we have tomorrow and then we have a field trip on Friday so like we're just not gonna get a lot done this week and in the grand scheme of things like it really doesn't matter so I'm gonna go quickly eat my lunch and then I will catch up with you guys this afternoon okay so this is pretty sad the entire time from lunch until my students going to PE I was just checking homework I did check all of their spelling homeworks from when I was gone and all of their math homeworks and I did not even get through the entire class I got all of their spelling homeworks checked, but I still have to check like half the class's math homeworks because I just could not get through it. I had to keep stopping because I had friends that were not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And it was just kind of a rough time. And the worst part is I don't even have time to do it right now during their special because I have to type up a field trip reminder form that needs to go home today because our field trip is Friday. So I'm just going to collect these folders and I'll have to do it after school. All 
so I did get their field trip note typed up and ready to send home as soon as my students come back from PE. This is a pile of rocks that Chuckles gave me at recess. He had a little bit of a rough morning, but he has turned it around for the most part. I think he has just really, really missed my attention, so he's kind of acted out a little bit today to try to get my attention, but we had to talk about it, um, how that's not the way to get my attention. So I have like three minutes left of my planning time. I have to reprint math homework for one of my students because they lost their folder. And then I have to go get my kids and they have to pack up and it is the end of the day. All right, I've officially survived my first day back after my vacation. I'm not gonna lie, I am very tired right now. I do not feel good. I feel like I'm getting sick and I think it's from all the traveling and I don't have time for that, frankly. So I'm really hoping that it goes away and I'm feeling very stressed and very overwhelmed currently because I just sat down and made a to-do list of everything I have to get done by tomorrow and it's kind of ridiculous. Like I don't know if I'm even going to physically be able to do it all, but I at least have to do as much as I can. I just had a break, so I need to just come back, get it done, be a big girl, and not complain about it, and just do it. So I'm gonna turn you around. I'm gonna show you what I have. So here's my to-do list. This pretty much all has to get done by tomorrow. So the first thing on my list is to email substitutes. So I had four different substitutes while I was gone, and the substitute that my students had yesterday, the last substitute, was amazing. Like. All the teachers told me that my students were so much better with her. She left this really detailed note, like I asked my substitutes to do, to let me know what happened. I don't think any of the other substitutes did that. And for her to come in after my students having six days of a substitute and for her to have that much control over the class is just amazing. So she left me her email, that's why I'm covering these. But I'm gonna email her and just thank her for taking such good care of my class because I really, really appreciate it. Second thing on my list is to finish checking math homework because I showed you guys earlier I did not get that done. Um, then I need to change the home links in the folders, which I don't have to have by tomorrow. I don't really have to have that by next week, but I would love to just get the folders out of the way. I need to clean out my sub bins, which are all of these. I don't even want to begin to think about what is in there. I don't want to clean them out, but I need to. Um, finished calendar. So thankfully one of my substitutes, I don't know who, but they actually changed most of the calendar numbers and they put the rest of them right here, which is completely fine. I never even expected them to do that. So I'm super grateful, but I need to finish that because it is going to bother me. Um, next thing is cleaning out the classwork bin. So there's a bunch of papers in here. Look, it's not even facing the right way. I had students turn in Tuesday folders late, so I need to go through those. And then the next thing on my list is a grading party because I have tons of papers in here. I have all those papers in the classwork bin. I have all of these papers. And then the next thing is to get progress reports done because they have to be done by tomorrow at noon. So I have to grade all of that today so that I can get my progress reports done by tomorrow, which is not gonna be fun at all. I also need to print my SLO math post assessment. So in SLO, we have to do two every year, one for math, one for reading, and it's part of our teacher evaluation. So it's a big deal and they are due on Saturday. Now my reading one is done because that had to do with BASS, but math, I had no idea they were due this Saturday, I'll be completely honest, and I have to give the post assessment tomorrow since we have a Friday a field trip on Friday. So I have to get that done. That's not even like a question. I have to print it out so I can give it to my students tomorrow, grade it, and then finish the SLO and submit it. And then I need to print the ABC countdown papers, which I will explain that to you guys at another time. I just have to get working for now. All right, so as you guys can see, I have a ridiculous amount of stuff that I have to get done tonight. I'm super stressed about it. I'm not even gonna lie. However, I need to just get it done. Like I don't have a choice, so I'm not gonna sit here and complain about it. That's pointless, I'm just gonna do it. Quickly though, before I get started, because it's on my mind right now, I am so grateful for my team teachers. I'm so, so grateful for the assistants that are in my room because they took such good, I can't even talk, such good care of my class while I was gone. And I'm just so, so grateful because I, I'm starting to think some of them would not have survived like if it wasn't for my team teachers and the assistants. Like I literally feel like they would not have survived. One of the assistants in my room, um, gave my students an incentive and they were able to earn an ice cream party so she bought them all ice cream today which is like seriously amazing like I would never have expected her to do that and for her to go above and beyond and do that like I'm so grateful and my other assistant you know she took a care of my kids in the back that were working in small group and she knew like she's so great with them she knows like when something is a big deal and she needs to address it and then she knows when to just let things go and I feel like she handled it all perfectly so I'm so so grateful and I know my team teachers had to put up with a lot when I wasn't here with my class I'm just so so grateful and so appreciative and right now it is teacher appreciation week so I also want to try to get something for them 
for tomorrow because I won't be here on Friday like a normal day it will be the field trip so I really want to have something for them tomorrow I don't know maybe coffee or donuts or something I will figure it out while I'm working but they definitely deserve it and I'm so so grateful for them so I want them to know that I'm gonna go get started on work I will catch up with you guys later on so alive, make one of the first things I always do is go through my papers and put them in alphabetical order which I asked the sub to do and I was wondering why they were like in this weird order and I realized the sub did it by their first names instead of their last names so I guess I should have clarified a little bit better so I finished grading all of the papers on my table and I was super excited until I remembered that I still had this huge stack in my grade drawer I had a goal to be done grading by 8 o'clock and it is 7.48, which is fantastic. That is my pile of all of the stuff I graded. I need to put it into the grade book now. But look, hashtag real life, I threw some of it away because I looked at some of the papers and I could tell the substitute did not give good directions and it was just crap. So I threw it away and I don't even feel bad about it. So it is now 8.30 p.m. I am still at school, unfortunately. Here's the update of my list. So I did not change the home links in their folders, but like I said, I don't have to have that till next week, so I'm just not really worried about it. And I also have not done progress reports, which I have to get done tonight because there's no way I'm going to be able to do them tomorrow before noon. So I'm going to have to do them at home because I just can't stay here any longer. I'm super, super hungry. And I also need to print the ABC countdown papers. And again, I will probably do that tomorrow. Like, I really need them to go home tomorrow, but I'll have time to get it done. I'm just not worried about it for tonight. All right, you guys, I'm getting out of here because, like I said, I'm starving. I had no breakfast besides my iced coffee. For lunch, all I had to take were goldfish and a bag of mixed nuts. So that is all I've had to eat today and I'm absolutely starving. I'm very tired. I still do not feel very well. Like I definitely feel like I'm getting sick and I'm trying to just brush it off. But at the same time, I feel like crap. I still have to do progress reports. So I'm gonna have to go home and get those done. I also need to edit the second part of my travel vlog because I told you guys it was gonna go live tomorrow morning and I need to pull through. So I still have a ton of stuff to get done tonight and I'm, I'm laughing. It's really not funny at all. <laughs> but I'm very tired. However, I feel like once I get through today, it will be much better and I will feel much better knowing that it is all done. So I just need to suck it up, get it done tonight. I will catch up with you guys tomorrow morning because I just don't think I'm gonna vlog when I get home. I'm very tired. I'm gonna snuggle up in bed, get my work done and I will see you guys in the AM. morning YouTube. I did not go to sleep until 2.30 in the morning and I got up at 6.45. So you can only guess how I'm feeling right now. And before you guys yell at me in the comments, because I know you guys are going to and you're going to tell me I need to take care of myself and I need to get sleep. I know, trust me. However, by the time I got home, ate my dinner, finished progress reports, it was like 11 p.m. and I had to get my vlog posted because I told you guys that it was going to go live this morning and I can't back down on promises like that. So I just had to do it. I stayed up until 2.30, but it's done. I got it posted. Tonight, I'm going to film a video all about preparing for field trips since we have a field trip tomorrow. And I feel like after this week, 
this weekend and next week I'll be able to relax more. So it sucks right now. I am tired. I'm cranky. I had to use dry shampoo because I did not have time to shower and I didn't really want to, but it's okay. It will all work out. I'm going to go get myself a very large coffee and I will catch up with you guys when I get to school. So I did end up going to Starbucks yesterday and I just got five $5 gift cards. I'm gonna give one to each of my team teachers for helping out with my class when I was gone and one to each of the assistants that are in my room because goodness knows they had to put up with a lot of crap while I was gone and I just really, really appreciate them. So I'm going to quickly fill out a thank you card and put the gift cards inside. Okay, so bad teacher moment. I literally have pretty much nothing prepared for today. Like in terms of lesson planning, I haven't even figured it out. Like I have to give my SLO post assessment. I'm going to give the unit eight assessment for math, but we're gonna kind of do it together because I'm not gonna grade it like a test because my students had a sub for half of the unit and it's not fair to them. Other than that, I need to talk to them about our upcoming field trip and I need to talk to them about our A to Z countdown for the end of the year. And that's about all I have planned. Um, we are gonna spend some time cleaning as a class because my library looks atrocious. So do their tables, we need to clean those. They are running low on pencils, so we need to go through and like sharpen them and get out some new pencils. We need to clean cubbies because these also look atrocious. And we need to go through book bins because some of my kids have like 30 books in their book bin and it's just not necessary. So it might be kind of another off day where we're just not really doing anything like academic. But when I come back after a sub and then we have a field trip two days later, there's just no point in like starting something new. So this is just what we're gonna do for the day. So perfect representation. I go to sit down to record this vlog to kind of vent about everything that's been happening today because it's been rough. And I sit down and I get a Charlie horse in my foot and it's literally like just the perfect representation. Um, It's been a rough morning. It's been a very rough morning. <sighs> I have not been teaching. I have just been diffusing one situation after another. I'm trying to focus on not getting so angry when my students are misbehaving and rather taking the time to take them aside, talk to them, figure out why it's happening, and just come up with a solution in a calm manner and just basically diffuse the situation. However, as much as I love doing that and it does work, it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of effort. I had to spend so much time this morning just taking students into the hall to be able to talk to them and it's like I don't have the time to do that. During recess today it was my day to stay in which I was excited about because I have papers to grade from the tests they took this morning and I couldn't because I spent the whole time diffusing situations with those students I had to keep in from recess and then I go to take them to lunch and I spend 15 minutes of my lunch diffusing the situations and it's exhausting and it's just frustrating because I don't mind doing that, but right now I literally feel like I don't have the time. Like I have so much I need to get through, I have so much I have to get done, and I don't have the time to spend 10, 15 minutes at a time trying to diffuse these situations when two seconds later, I have another one to diffuse. And I'm trying not to be negative, but I'm feeling very frustrated right now. And uh, I'm hungry, I'm tired, and that does not help at all. I'm gonna go relax for the rest of my lunch, try to quickly eat something before I have to go get my class again, and just try to make this afternoon as positive as possible. I will check in with you guys later on when my students go to media at the end of the day. So all of that negativity aside, one of my students gave me this this morning for Teacher Appreciation Week, so I'm gonna open it up. Hopefully that will put me in a more positive mindset for the afternoon. All right, you guys, I do feel better. Um, so I read the note and it was just thanking me for everything I've done for their son this year and for making my classroom such a great place for him to learn. And then this is super, super nice. It's a uh, Lily Pulitzer notepad and it's for like grocery lists. So that's super, super sweet of them. Like I don't expect gifts. However, I will say it is nice to get them because I'm at a Title I school, that rarely happens. So to actually receive a gift, especially on a day like today is just, a very nice feeling I am extremely grateful. So another thing that is a positive, we did get a chance to go through our book bins today and clean them out, which is good. However, we did not get to the cubbies. I don't know if it's gonna get done today or not, 
but at least we got through the book bins. All right, my students are now at media and the afternoon has just been a huge roller coaster. It has been so up and down, it's not even funny. When I went to pick up my students from lunch, my line looked horrible. They're arguing, they're pushing each other, they're putting their hands on each other. So we had to spend a good like 10 minutes in the hallway trying to fix it and get it together. Now, I will say when they came back into the room, they did an excellent job. So I had to give the post assessment for my SLO. So since they were doing good, I was like, okay, I'm giving it right now while we are still doing well. And thankfully it went really, really well. I am super proud of them for that. However, after that, they completely fell apart again. And it's just so frustrating because it's like I cannot keep the entire class together for more than like five minutes at a time, which is super sad. And I have so much to get done during my planning time. It's not even funny. All right, so within the next 45 minutes, I need to go through my progress reports and make sure that they are all correct. I need to grade these math tests from this morning, even though we did them together, so technically everyone should have 100%, but goodness knows there were people that didn't pay attention. My SLO post assessment, I have graded them, but I need to put the data into the computer and submit it. I need to go through agendas and put super student papers in there and take them to my students along with their candy. And I have not even printed the A, B, C countdown papers and I have no idea how I'm gonna get those out today. Like it's probably just not gonna happen. And you know what? Real life, it's just the way it's gonna be. now after school it's about 4 15 good news is my desk is cleared off although I kind of cheated I definitely didn't grade those math tests I put a clip on it that says tomorrow which is wishful thinking and put it in my grade drawer because I don't feel like doing it right now so here is my to-do list um, I still need to change out the home links in the folders but again I don't need to do that right now so I'm just not going to worry about it I also still need to print the ABC countdown papers problem is my laptop decided to disconnect from the school's Wi-Fi will not connect again I've tried restarting it it did not help and our tech guy has already left for the day so I do not have internet access currently and it will not let me print things without the internet access I tried and it would not work so I can't get that done either. Um, so instead, I'm gonna sit here and work on things for the field trip tomorrow, just get all the details sorted out. Now, I'm not gonna show you guys a lot of that in this video because I am filming a separate video all on getting ready for field trips and that one will go live after this one. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. All right, I'm ready to get out of here. It's about six o'clock and I'm very tired. However, I do have everything ready for my field trip tomorrow, which is a good feeling. But while I was getting stuff prepared, I had a parent send me a message on Class Dojo. Ironically, one of the parents who was supposed to chaperone tomorrow. And she was asking me if instead of her chaperoning, she could send her son to chaperone. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to assume that he's over the age of 18 and even can chaperone. But no, because chaperones have to have an approved volunteer form from the office, and those have to be submitted at least two weeks in advance to get approval. So no, you cannot message me the night before the field trip and send your son instead. Like, seriously? Plus, what really irritates me is this is the same chaperone who wanted to be a chaperone for the first field trip and gave me a hard time because she wasn't picked. So I specifically picked her for this one and then she doesn't even want a chaperone. Like, I give up. I quit. I'm over today. I am just, I don't know. I'm waving my white flag. I am realizing that today is just not my day. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go relax and I will catch up with you guys in the morning. And to make matters worse, I come outside to find that a bird crapped on the side of my car today. Like seriously, come on. Good morning, YouTube. Let me start by saying that I got into bed before midnight last night. So I think you guys should be really proud of me because that's pretty impressive. Today is field trip day. We are going to Port Discovery and it's in Baltimore, which means I'm gonna be on a school bus for two hours and 10 minutes there and two hours and 10 minutes back. I'm now accepting prayers and good thoughts and coffee to help me power through this. Now, it is currently raining, which is not a problem because Port Discovery is like an indoor interactive like museum. I mean, it's not a museum, but there's just a whole bunch of interactive stuff for the kids to do. So it's not a problem that it's raining. However, it is a bad omen because last year when we took this field trip, it was also raining. And on the bus ride home, we were supposed to come home from Port Discovery, leave at like 1.30 and get home by like four o'clock. We did not get home until almost eight o'clock because the bus got lost and then we got stuck in traffic and then one of the buses broke down and we had to put all the kids onto our bus and it was a hot mess. 
and I do not want that to happen again because that was the most miserable experience of my life. So hopefully it's just a coincidence that it is raining again. I'm gonna go get coffee and I'm gonna go get an oatmeal to help tie me over and I will catch up with you guys at school. I'm also accepting new donations of windshield wipers because this is what mine currently look like. Do you see that? <laughs> So I didn't have time to go to both McDonald's for an oatmeal and Dunkin' Donuts for a coffee, so I ended up just getting a small frappe from McDonald's, even though these are horrible for you because they have so much sugar in them, but I need that today. Plus, I didn't want to go with a medium or a large. Because I'm going to be on a bus for so long, I do not want to have to use the bathroom. So it is about 7.15. Now, our students have to be here at 7.45 this morning because the bus leaves at 8, and that is earlier than they usually come in. They usually come in at 8.15, so I had to get here early as well. So I'm going to sit and just enjoy my coffee a little bit because I don't have anything that I have to get ready but I thought I would quickly just show you guys what I'm wearing so when we have field trips we are allowed to dress casual so I have my teach tee this is from the blue envelope and then I have just a pair of black leggings because there's a huge jungle gym and I end up climbing on it with them and I need to be comfortable and then I have my running shoes uh,
right. Is your steak cooked right? Yes. Is it well done? Yes. That means it's burnt. Oh, look at that. Thanks, Knuckles. Look. Hey, hey, don't eat my waffles. Yep, Chesapeake Bay Bridge. I survived. I'm officially back in my classroom. It's around 5.15. We got in about five, which is an hour later than we were supposed to. However, compared to last year when we are four hours late, I will completely take being an hour late. That's not bad at all. Overall, I had a fantastic day. I was expecting it to be rough. I was expecting to deal with a lot of behavior problems because that's what I deal with in my classroom. However, they were honestly really, really good, much better than I expected. And I was honestly really impressed by them, which makes me super, super happy to say there were no major hiccups with behavior or anything. They, for the most part, listened to directions. And if they didn't, it's just because they were excited and I completely understand that. Plus, when we got back to the school, the bus driver was actually talking to my principal and then she told me that he said that I was one of the best teachers he's had on his bus in terms of controlling student behavior. And then my class left the bus really, really clean. There was no trash on the floor. So that makes me super, super proud of them. And that's what I expect from my class. So it's really, really nice when they're able to pull through and live up to my expectations like that. I loved getting to spend the more individual time with my students. Obviously, Knuckles was in my group. He requested to be in my group. I sat with him on the bus ride there and the bus ride back, and I just loved seeing him like experience all of it because I don't think he's really left Salisbury, the area that I live, and he was so just like amazed by everything. He sat right by the window and just looked out the window the entire time. Like he never was getting up out of his seat. He was never being loud. He just sat there and watched out the window and it was so sweet. Plus he got cold at one point. So I gave him my rain jacket that I had and it obviously was huge on him because he's a pretty tiny kid. And he just had it like wrapped around him and like it was so, so, so cute. Plus I have a slide puzzle game on my phone and slide puzzles are like those little squares and you move them around and put the numbers back in order or the picture back in order. And I let some of my students do them just to see if they were able to solve it. Now, I love slide puzzles. I practice them all the time so I can do it in like 10 seconds. However, my boyfriend can't solve it in like under five minutes. So they are kind of more difficult, especially if you don't do them often. So I was just curious to see what my students could do. I gave it to some of my higher kids and even they couldn't do it. Like they got frustrated and they gave up. Knuckles solved it three different times. The first time it took him about 10 minutes. Second time it took him about five minutes. And the last time he solved it in under a minute. And I sat there and watched him because part of me didn't believe that he was able to do it. And that sounds awful, but I was just shocked. Like I didn't expect my students to be able to do it. Or if I did, it was gonna take him a really long time. He solved it in under a minute. Then he went on to the next harder level and he was able to solve that one. And I was just blown away. Like he so impressed me. And I was telling him how proud of him I was and how much he just like blew me away and seeing his face light up and seeing how proud of himself he was just made my entire day. Like I'm in such a good mood now. The only thing that was like a minor issue throughout the day, and it was completely my fault, we got on the bus to come home. I took attendance, I had all my kids. I like gave my other teen teachers the signal saying we were good. And then suddenly I was going through my book bag and I realized I didn't have my cell phone. At one point I had to get the medical bag and get one of my students their inhaler. And I guess I either put it on the floor and left it or it fell out of my book bag or something, but I lost it. So I had to run back in. Thankfully lost and found had it. So it wasn't a big deal, but I was starting to freak out because that is not something that I do. I do not ever leave my cell phone anywhere, but it was just so chaotic in there that I ended up leaving it. But it all worked out. I had a fantastic day with my students. I am, however, ready to go home and take a nap and take a shower because I feel disgusting. I was planning on staying here and like lesson planning, but that's not happening. I'm way too tired. And honestly, I think I deserve to go home. It's been a long week with traveling and with behavior issues the past two days and then the field trip today. So I think I deserve to go home, take a shower, take a nap and just relax. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. If you enjoyed this vlog, even though it was on the shorter side because I only had three days of school this week, please give it a thumbs up so more teachers are able to see it. Share it out to your teacher friends. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. I do have a video going up tomorrow and that is all about planning for a field trip and what I pack for a field trip. So if you're interested, make sure you check that out. Thank you so much as always for watching. I love you all so much and I will catch you in the next one. 
thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video and for supporting my YouTube channel. If you want to check out any of my older videos, you can use the two links right down here. If you want to subscribe to me so you don't miss any future videos, you can use the link right up here. In the description box, you will find links to all of my social media sites, my Teachers Pay Teacher store, and my Amazon store, and I will catch you guys in the next one.